Analysis of both clinical and laboratory data indicate an overall significant reduction in the risk of hospitalization for Omicron compared to Delta. In the United States, we are getting accumulation of data. The spice in cases is out of proportion to the increase in hospitalization. So if one looks at 14-day averages, the data as of last night indicate a plus 126% increase in cases and an 11% increase in hospitalizations. Now, we must remember that hospitalizations and deaths are lagging indicators. However, the pattern and disparity between cases and hospitalizations strongly suggests that there will be a lower hospitalization to case ratio when the situation becomes more clear. So in conclusion, the data are encouraging, but in still in many respects preliminary, yet they are getting stronger and stronger as additional data are accumulated. And it is still unclear how these data will translate to other demographically diverse populations in the United States and elsewhere throughout the world. But having said this, all indications point to a lesser severity of Omicron versus Delta. It is difficult to determine what degree of lessened severity is due to pre-existing immunity or the intrinsically lower virulence of Omicron, as suggested by the animal studies, or a combination of both. Increased transmissibility of Omicron resulting in an extremely high volume of cases may override some of the impact of the lower disease severity. And so we should not become complacent since our hospital system could still be stressed in certain areas of the country. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.